guys welcome back to one of my vlogs today i will be showing you how i launch my collections and the process that goes in into all of the work behind my business and if you're new here my name is jade welcome welcome i own a jewelry business called jyc and you can check it out in the description below this is going to be a process that's not going to be completed in one day it takes me about three to four weeks to prepare for it I'm getting a little bit more organized because usually I just kind of wing it but now I'm really trying to plan out everything and that is what I want to tell you guys so the first two weeks or two weeks before launch day I prepare everything so if I'm launching a handmade resin collections which I am this time I'm launching the celestial florals it's going to take me about a week or so to make all of the products and make the actual resin if i'm launching a product that i work with my manufacturer it's going to take a little less but it does still take a long time because i have to test the product and you know wait for the samples to arrive and see how the product actually works and how the quality is but this time i'm launching a handmade celestial florals dangles collection it's all going to be florals and long earrings and i'm super super excited because this is going to be one of my favorite collections that i'm dropping i know that you guys love the moon and star pairs and i'm making a lot more of those this time so you will see that in the vlog and let's just show you the whole um designing process so i'm just sitting down to start assembling all the pieces that i've made so far i made this over the weekend and honestly my eyes really gravitate toward these hair clips i love them so much like i'm so happy that they all turned out really good and so far these are the moon and star sets that i have and a lot of floral pieces some of them i made like a few weeks ago but i never just got around to making them just because i wanted to wait for the new collection drop and yeah i have a lot of the little pieces here that are waiting for their little moon pair <laughs> but i need to make them still and i'm gonna be restocking the rose gold and gold really young earrings and also the icy earrings so it's gonna be on my site in a few minutes but if you're following on instagram you're gonna know the restocks and if you're subscribed to the email list then you're gonna get a notification for the restocks as soon as possible so make sure you guys are following me there and sign up for the email list Alrighty, so this is my system i usually put all the finished ones in this little box all the earrings and these are the ones that i need to take pictures of to put on a website and then on this end these are the ones that have are lonely <laughs> they need a little match next to them so i write down what i need which is over here um sometimes right there's like a mismatch one turns out better than the other so I write them down but i need to cross off some because i did that previously when i made the resin and i'm about to make more resin right now so gonna do that but yes these are the ones that are left that i haven't assembled those are all good to go and the moon and star dangles uh so pretty i love them i love putting it on this rack and seeing it because it's just like it's just so cute um, and there's like not that much space, but I will organize all of them over there later. And I will show you guys how my process is making the actual resin. So let's go. So this is my little desk area workspace. I have these like silicone mats where I just kind of peel off the resin because I don't like using cardboard because it gets like stuck and there's bumps. And um, it's also more eco-friendly to use all these, these like silicone cups and things like that. So that's my space i you know usually just mix the resin that i have over here in two parts on the scale um i put like a little napkin over here and it's actually really cold today i don't know if you can hear the wind so i'm super bundled up but i'm going to show you guys when i am in the middle of making the earrings and you know sometimes like there's um leftover resin so i do get a roll of tape a roll i don't know why i said it like that to tape off the excess so it doesn't translate into the actual earrings and the products so yeah 
Also, I've been loving watching Love Island. I'm on season seven. If you guys have watched season five or six, you guys know that season five is like the best, the best always. Um, but let me know in the comments if you guys watch Love Island also so we can fangirl about who you love the most and which couple is like your favorite. Okay, I'm finally done. My neck hurts. Let me show you guys what I have. So this is what I have so far. I wasn't recording because I got caught up, but I made some more hair clips, rings, and all of this. So I'm obsessed. Now I'll show you guys when it is cured the next day. Okay, so it is now Saturday, actually. I thought they weren't gonna cure because the next day when I told you guys that I was gonna show you, they turned out really bendy. But maybe it's just because the weather is really cold right now and it just takes longer to cure. But some of them, I use the same box with like miscellaneous items, but they turned out great. I'm so happy about how they turned out. This one, I took it out. This was one of the ones that I was like testing to see if it was bendy and it never like ended up good. So that's going in the mystery pile. Hi, so it has been a while since I updated you guys on everything, even though it doesn't feel like it for you because you're watching this video. But for me, it's been like a week or so. I've just been working um, a lot. Not a lot, but I picked up an extra shift, so I work three days out of the week now from 8.30 to 4. And I'm launching the collection on January 2nd. So if you guys are following my social, you are kind of already updated. I said that I am going to launch the Celestial Florals on January 2nd, which is Sunday, on 12 p.m. PST. So right now, I'm just kind of creating more content and trying to film like more tiktok videos um and i had one that got up to 20k views and that was just like ah yay like i was so excited about that so yeah i'm gonna be kind of filming a little bit of clips of the products um just so i have it on my phone and i can create content easier that way so this is the setup right now i finished assembling all the pieces that are gonna go into the new collection and I'm about to take all the photography pictures. So I usually take it in the living room, but because the lighting is better at this time of hour over here where I have all my supplies, I figured I'd just take it here and plus it's been really rainy and gloomy. So the sun kind of goes in and out, but hopefully I can make it work. I also took some photos for Instagram and after that I uploaded all the photos so I can write in the descriptions and all the information for the website. And afterwards I made sure to double check everything so I didn't mess up or I wasn't missing any information before I launch on launch day. So today was launch day and I password protected the website and only the text message subscribers get the password one hour before the actual launch time so if you want first access to all the new collections be sure to subscribe to text messages because you get first access and i was also compiling the products for an email that i sent out so after that i took off the password when it hit 12 o'clock and it was a successful launch so thank you so much if you ordered so that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys like seeing how I launched my collections. If you did like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what types of videos you guys are more interested in seeing. I would love to do more small business vlogs. So um, if you guys like watching those, let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.